Hi, this is Alex. I'm in the theater. See, theater here, where you can have concerts. Look at this, Rose. Oh, of my castle on Covert Island in the land of Minecraftia. There it is. And there's the screen for movies. It's a great space. You can have concerts. You can do plays. You can watch movies. It's wonderful. And this is the theater part of this castle. I want to talk to you tonight about Dexter. Dexter on Showtime. Dexter is a story of a serial killer who kills other serial killers. Um, it's in its last season, um, which I'm sad about. And um, it stars Michael C. Hall as Dexter Morgan. And Dexter was found. This is the ballroom. This is the ballroom in the castle. Imagine going to a lovely dance and then going out on the on the top of the castle overlooking the water. I'm going to take you out and go up in the sky here. Um, Harry Morgan finds Dexter in a pool of blood where Dexter's mother was killed. See, there we are. I built this out of the side of a mountain, by the way. It's all of a mountain. That's why it's all jaggedy like that. Anyway, um, and he takes him in. Um, when Dexter's a few years older, he starts to figure out something's wrong with Dexter. And um, so Harry teaches him something called the code. Now it's sort of Harry's made up code. Turns out there was a psychologist helping him with this that comes into it this season. Anyway, the code has three parts. Um, the first part is that Dexter never, ever gets caught. Never, ever. The second part of it is the victims must be killers themselves. So whoever Dexter kills, let's go around this side here, has to be another serial killer. And the third part is to make sure to go to any lengths to get proof that that's the case so you do not kill an innocent. Um, so those are the three parts of the code that Harry and the psychologist come up for Dexter. It's his way of protecting Dexter and making him a tool for good as opposed to um, hurting somebody that's innocent. So anyway, um, Harry also has a daughter named Deb. And now they're all grown up and Deb and Dexter both work for the Miami Police Department. Harry has committed suicide long ago. And um, Dexter is a blood splatter specialist. Gee, go figure. And Deborah is a detective. And they're very close. They're brother and sister now. You know, they grew up together. And Deborah has some issues because her father spent so much time trying to fix Dexter that he sort of neglected his own daughter so she has real issues around men and you can see in the men that she spends time with look at my pool on the roof um, the first one turns out to be the ice pick killer and um, it turns out also to be Dexter's biological brother um, of course Dexter accidentally kills him and um, so Deborah's left with that knowing that it's the ice pick killer look at the sun's going down it's quite lovely this little house over here I'm going to go down a little bit. What's my first house in this? I was spawned over here in this prairie, or um, and that was my first house. Just a little simple house. It's gotten bigger a little bit. And I went over here one day, and I thought, oh, I'm going to make something different. I'm going to make an apartment in the sky. And so I went over off this one piece of rock here, or whatever it is, and started building this apartment in wood. And everything else came off of that. I'm going to take you down here where I swim. So anyway, the next lover that Deb has, oddly enough, um, Deb does have difficulty with men, is an inspector or a special agent by the name of Frank Lundy, who is played by Keith Carradine. I don't know if you know who the Carradine brothers are, but they're a very famous old Hollywood family. And Keith Carradine had a show in the 70s called Kung Fu, which was a really cool um, sort of zen show. So anyway, he ple plays Frank, and Frank eventually gets killed too. And um, and then Deborah also takes up with one of the other detectives who starts to question Dexter and who Dexter is. Now, this is where I swim. I'm underneath the castle still. I'm actually under the theater, but it's really cool. Look at that. There we go. Swimming, 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 swimming. Okay, i got to get out of here. Here we go. And um, But they don't work out. He proposes to her, and she flips out. She even thinks at one time um, that she's in love with Dexter. She said, well, you know, you're not really my brother, and I really love you. Now, Dexter's managed to get together a marriage with a woman named Rita, and um, they even have a son together named Harrison. But a serial killer comes along and kills his own wife. So Dexter's left alone, and Deborah actually helps him. So they become close again, and that's where she thinks, ah, I think I'm in love with you. Now, here's one of my apartments. The castle has several apartments and this is one of them I want to show you there we go put me down there we are we're in the there so we're in the last season the last few shows and what has happened um, Deborah 
figures out she's no longer in love. In fact, at the end of um, the last season or so, what happened is... Um, Dexter was killing Travis Marshall. Now, Dexter has this whole thing he goes about, this elaborate plan with plastic everywhere, and he kills the person where he was killing this serial killer named Travis Marshall that was played by Colin Hanks, Tom Hanks' son, and Deborah walks in on him when he's stabbing him. So there was, like, no misunderstanding of what was happening around that. Oh, it's raining in this show. It's raining. And um, so now Deborah knows, and she's haunted. In fact, so haunted and yet torn that she actually kills her own captain to protect Dexter from being caught and put away. So everything is starting to unravel this season. There, the psychologist that helps Harry Morgan with Dexter has made an appearance in there, and she's analyzing and trying to get in the middle of Dexter and Deborah. It's really awkward. And um, the seasons are wrapping up now. Deborah last um, week decided, perhaps, there was lightning, that she needs to take Dexter and herself both out of the mix and tries to drive them off into a pond, but has second thought, thoughts, and then when somebody rescues her, she jumps back in and rescues Dexter. So stay tuned. I'm curious to see how this is going to end. I'm hoping they won't take Dexter out, but, you know, he is a serial killer, even if he's a kind one. So anyway... That's my blog for tonight. Look at that beautiful castle. This site is not completed, so I'll show it to you another time. Have a pleasant night, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.